Hey guys, Chris here for New Tech Wood, and today we're talking siding. New Tech Wood has an amazing siding system, actually multiple systems that we're gonna talk about here in this video. They come in a wide variety of colors that you can see laid out here on the table, and we're always adding new colors. So make sure and check back on the website to see what new and exciting things we've got coming your way. Now, a lot of companies that do composite siding, they basically take their deck material, throw it up on the wall and say, hey, we made siding. Not so much. At New Tech Wood, we have a really advanced tongue and groove system that we're gonna get into in a little bit more detail here in a little while. But just to give you a quick indicator, you can see everything is designed to fit together. Now, unlike an open rain screen system that allows a lot of water to come through, our system is a completely closed, true rain screen system meaning that very little water is going to come through. You can see how the top piece overlaps the bottom piece and it eliminates that gap. That's what we're talking about with the true rain screen system. Now, these materials are stain and UV resistant. They're super long lasting. They're ultra low maintenance. They're split resistant, mold resistant, pest resistant. What it is, it's a capped wood and plastic composite inside here. It's made from recycled materials, so it's awesome if you're trying to do a green build. Then outside, we have this engineered natural coating for a very realistic wood grain, and it's really beautiful. Now, all of the things that we just talked about for our all-weather system, which is kind of like the traditional, normal siding material that you think of, also applies to our European system. Now our European system consists of Belgian and Norwegian models. What this does is it gives you some really cool detail on the exterior or interior of your home or business. We've seen some beautiful pictures from our clients where they utilize the all weather, they utilize the Belgian, they utilize the Norwegian, and they put it all on the outside and inside of their building. All of these work really great on ceilings as well and they really finish off a room really finish off a porch or a deck. It gives some really cool interest that you might not otherwise get with a traditional material. So don't be afraid to get creative with it and really kind of go to town on how you can get the best look for your particular build. Now, we also have a wide variety of trim pieces. And this is one of the things that really sets New Tech Wood apart. Again, it's not just decking that we throw up on the side of the house and say it's siding. All of these trim pieces are designed to give you beautiful finish details across the board that all match the different colors that we've put together here for you today. So pro tip, when you are ready to start your project, start with the trim. Start by trimming out your windows and your doors before you do your siding. Then you can work your siding into the trim and it's gonna save you a lot of time and headaches. When you do mount the trim, you're going to pre-drill and mount the trim directly to the building itself. So we've built in space for you to do that. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a little while. Now, along those same lines of pre-drilling and screwing in, we know that you're never gonna have the exterior of your building perfectly designed to wind up with a finished run right at the top, bottom, or side where you want it to be. So when you are ready to apply that final piece to your project, you're gonna just rip it down, you're gonna pre-drill, and you're gonna screw that in as well. Now, on the European ones, if you do that, you wanna make sure that you're doing that in the gap here, in that divot, and you're not trying to pre-drill and screw through the raised portion. The next thing I'm really excited to talk to you about is the mounting system. So, see these little clips here? These little guys are the reason why this system works so well. When you're mounting your siding, you want to mount 16 inches on center for walls and 12 inches for ceilings or soffits. So now I want to tell you about our starter strips. Now these are longer versions of the same clips that we have to affix your siding to your wall. And as you can see, your all-weather siding seats down into that starter strip the same way that it would seat down into this clip. And you can see it's gonna give you that same offset. So all of your siding is gonna be on the same plane and even all the way up your wall. But what this allows you to do is have a much longer seat for that first row to sit down into at the base of your wall. 
At the top of your run, on the last row of siding closest to the soffit or ceiling, we have these rubber stoppers. These allow for the same offset as our clips to keep that run at the same consistent plane. You install these before you install your last row of siding. So let's walk through this uh, little beauty here. You can see it nests down perfectly right there on the ledge. Works great. Same thing, I'll show you here on our gentleman from Norway. Same thing there. We're gonna go with our buddy from Belgium. Bam, it works across the board. So, let me talk to you about mounting these guys a little bit. You're gonna notice there's two different holes. So you got top hole, bottom hole. So when you're using this locking hole to control that expansion and contraction, you only want to apply your screw into that locking hole once per board. You can see as the boards overlap that that clip is completely hidden. And then if you look on the back, you see that quarter inch separation. That's just part of this true rain screen system. So I wanna take a minute to talk about expansion and contraction. So most things on planet Earth, when they get hot, they expand, and when they get cold, they contract. And these boards are the same. They're gonna to flow to the area of least resistance, and therefore, when you lock it in the center, that contraction and expansion will flow evenly. If you're installing vertically, you wanna install it at the top clip, or top two, depending on the length of your board, because then you're working with gravity to force that expansion and contraction downward. When you're installing horizontally, and it's the only board in your run, then you're gonna install that locking clip in the middle, therefore giving it equal contraction and expansion on both sides. If you're installing two boards horizontally side by side, then we recommend that you put the locking clip close to the butt joint. That way, you keep that joint with very little movement and you push the expansion and contraction towards the ends where you're able to hide it. Now let me show you what I mean by locking clip. So. We have our siding and we have our clips in place. For a non-locking clip installation, your screw is gonna come in right here. One screw right there. And what that allows to do, it allows the board to expand and contract. Now, when you wanna lock this into place so you can control the direction of expansion and contraction, you still put one here, but you're also gonna put a screw right here. And that's actually gonna bite into the siding itself, and then it's going to lock it into place. So that's what we mean by a locking clip. Now each board is 16 feet in length. So if you have runs with more than two boards horizontally or 32 feet, we recommend you use our butt joint trim piece to help hide that. Now I wanna to talk to you a little bit about trim. What's awesome about this trim is it really sets new tech wood apart. It allows you to beautifully finish off your building. It's not just, like I said, it's not just decking that's thrown up on the side of the building and we say, hey, we made siding. We have a whole system in place to help you beautifully finish off your project. I'm gonna take you on a little tour here of trim land. So we're gonna start off with the trim that we've designed to go with our all weather system. First, we're gonna start off with our interior corner here. Now, on all of our trim, you can see we have this quarter inch offset. So we're raising all of your siding up off the surface of your building by a quarter inch. And this is a true closed rain screen system, which is really going to give you the advantage in your build. What we've done is we've given you this extra area. And if you can kind of see here in our close-up camera, these all weather siding boards are gonna slide right in there and it allows for that expansion and contraction that we've been talking about. And if you look at it from the front, we have this beautiful finished inside corner. So we're not trying to just kind of miter edges, we're not trying to just force stuff. We've thought it through, we've built it out ahead of time, and we've got your back with these trim pieces. Similarly, on the outside, we have your outside corner pieces. Again, just slides right in there, and if you look this way, we've built in that extra room for expansion and contraction. With these trim pieces, when you go to mount them to your building, you're gonna pre-drill it, and then you're gonna screw it right into the frame. All right, continuing to go through our all-weather siding. Right here, we have our end trim, or our starter trim. And actually, if you rip this piece off, you can also use it as your J trim. 
Depending on how you want to use it, all trim pieces work horizontally or vertically with this siding. And you can see here, we'll rest right down in there or just like this, depending on how you want to use it. This is the trim you'll use the most. This will be used around most windows and most door openings. This is our joint trim. So say you want to do like a board and batten look. You just want to join up a run. This goes right in here and you can join two different boards together. And then you can see again here in the close up, you've kind of built in that room for that gap to allow for expansion and contraction. All right, so now we're gonna talk trim for the European line. As you can see, we have similar pieces here to what we showed you with All Weather, but they're custom engineered to work with these really beautiful and innovative products. So we're gonna start with Norwegian. This is our exterior corner, and you can see this lines up just beautifully. And you've got your run, and then you have this perfectly finished corner, and then that can just continue down the other side. You can see here, that we've built in this extra room here. So we know when you get to the end of your run, you're probably not gonna have that perfectly finished final piece. So we just ask that you rip it down here, down the indented part. Don't try to rip through the raised portion. And then we've given you this extra wiggle room to work with to allow you to really finish that off. What's cool about this is that you can also do these horizontally and it still looks great. So you don't have to worry about, oh shoot, how am I gonna get my exterior corner when I have a horizontal run? We've already thought of it ahead of time and it works really, really well. All right, continuing it on with Norwegian. So over here, we have our end trim or our starter trim. And really, if you were to rip this portion off, you can also use it as your J trim. Let me show you what I mean. Get this guy back over here with his friends. So, this is gonna line up for you right here, and it just gives you a lot of wiggle room again, a lot of forgiveness there to just kind of help you finish off those corners and those runs on your project. And again here, it works just as well if you're doing it this way. Again, this is the trim used around windows and doors. All right, and now we're gonna take a look at the trim that we have for the Belgian line. Again here, this is our exterior corner. Now, these aren't the exact same color, but they all work together. And you'll see, it's gonna do a really good job of just giving you that fluid finished corner turn and allow you to continue on down the other line. Same thing here, it works just as well for your horizontal applications as it does for your vertical applications. And because we have this extra room here, it's gonna give you a lot of forgiveness as you have to rip your boards to kind of get that perfect fit. And then here, same thing. We've created our end trim or our starter trim, however you wanna use it, however you need to use it. And you can also rip off this bottom part again and it can be some J trim for you. So you see here, it gives you that nice finished turn there. Same thing again, it can be used horizontally or vertically, very versatile piece. This trim, once again, will be what you use around windows and doors. The last piece to talk about is just your basic all-purpose corner trim. We use this for decking. We can use it for both of our styles of the European line. This is just a very versatile piece of trim that can be used for a lot of different applications. Thanks so much for joining us here today and checking out this video on New Tech Woods Siding. We'll see you next time.